Hello, hello, hello. It has been a quick minute since I've been in here. Uh, been really, really busy with some stuff in the background. Um, but I'm sure you guys have seen the posts. So today I want to talk to you about um, <clears throat> the new moon in Cancer. This is coming up for us Saturday night. Um, so technically on the 21st of the wee hours of the morning. So I'm going to be hosting a group guided meditation Saturday night, tomorrow night. Um, that's really going to focus in on the energy that's coming for us this week. I, you're probably already feeling it because honestly, we have a lot of astrological events happening right now. So it's going to be like just as much energy and almost as intense as a full moon. All right. So first of all, we have a solar eclipse that's going to be happening. Okay. Okay. Or it's going to be partial. It's not going to be fully covered. Um, but it's just, it's going to leave a sun ring all the way around. But we're having that. Um, we also have, so the new moon in the sign Cancer. And we have summer solstice, which is also happening all at the same time. And let's also throw in Mercury retrograde. <laughs> because why not? Let's just throw it all in there, right? So... Since the, since the strawberry full moon on June the 5th, you've probably been starting to find some answers to some, maybe some pretty deep questions that you've been having, uh, whether that's be getting, like trying to get over some behaviors, trying to figure out where these behaviors stem from. Um, you're just noticing a change in your life where you're like, no, nah, that doesn't feel good or doesn't work for me anymore. So we're starting to explore. We're starting to awaken to our highest self and what it is that we are wanting and desiring. So obviously everything is coming together in divine time because, um, because these decisions that you've been starting to make, the things that you've been starting to see, um, the questions that are starting to get answered, it's all going to kind of come to a head with this new moon energy that's coming along with all of the other things that are happening. Okay. So it's, if you haven't already, now is the time to really start setting some goals, figure out what you want your future to kind of look like, um, really get deep into that. Like, what's it going to be like when you have X, Y, Z, like, how's it going to feel like that's getting into the ritual. I'm going to get you guys to go to the website to hit up the ritual today. I just want to kind of talk about what this energy is bringing. Okay. So this energy is very intense for a new moon. Like it's really, really intense. Like usually the new moon is kind of like the hibernation like period of the moon phases for a month. Um, but there is no, there's no hibernation this month. There's no getting away from the energy at all. There's no, um, kind of like rest, recharge, relax of the new moon. Like that energy is not really present in this one. Um, and that's just because of all of the other astrological events that are happening. Um, but watching this, reading the blog, doing the ritual, doing the guided meditation. That's all really going to help prepare you. That's going to help you, um, take the energy for what it is. Cause it's not a bad thing. Yeah. Energetically, it might feel a little chaotic, but there's always something on the other side of it, right? Like everything is happening for you. Nothing happens to you. It always happens for you. So let's go in with an open mind and just look at what these energies are bringing and then we can recognize when maybe something is happening that's like out of normal for us, like out of the norm, out of the usual, and just kind of see what it is um, to be able to witness it, I guess, is more so what I'm trying to say, to be able to witness it, to witness your true desires, to witness maybe the behaviors that are blocking those true desires, you know, witnessing all of those things, acknowledging them and being willing to process them is really kind of the huge um, energy of this and kind of the lesson that the universe wants you to take from this, right? It is time to step up to your dreams and deliver everything you have. It's time for you to deliver everything that you have to the universe, all of your desires, all of the things that you don't want to carry on your back anymore, all of the emotions that are holding you back. It's time for you to put everything into this like beautiful little bubble and send it off to the universe. You don't need this anymore. You're stepping into greatness right now. If you are willing to receive, there is a portal open for you guys right now that's going to allow manifestation. It's going to allow desires. You just really need to be tapping into it, okay? So let's just take it one step at a time and let's just take a look and see what's really happening here. So 
we we want to be able to understand the circumstances better so we can get into the space to receive the messages that the universe is trying to give to us because this new moon energy really is intense so let's start with the solar eclipse let's start with like what that kind of is going to feel like and like what's going on with that because eclipses can affect us all very very differently um however this might be able to help you. So let's see. So we officially entered eclipse season with the full moon on June 5th, starting with our, starting with the strawberry full moon. That's when eclipse season began. All right. So the new moon in June is offering up a partial solar eclipse where most of the sun will be covered, but due to the placement of the moon, it is going to leave a sun ring all the way around the moon. If the eclipse was happening during full moon season, like during the full moon phase, then a lot more of it would be covered. Um, but that's not the case this time because we're in new moon. So the placement of the moon is further away. So therefore, it doesn't seem like it can cover the whole thing. So this is going to bring some nervous energy. Okay. And a lot of that does have to do because we're going into moon, new moon of cancer. Cancer is a very emotional sign. There's a lot of things that happen within cancer. Um, so it's bringing some nervous energy when we include the lunar or sorry, the solar eclipse, but taking the time now to prepare and witness those kind of emotions that might be coming up. Um, it's going to give you some mental clarity and the correct direction of your path. So if you are changing things up for yourself right now, there's going to be some clarity given to you. Um, if there's nothing really changing for you and life is just going on as normal, just kind of keep your eyes out for opportunities. Keep your eyes out for something that might put a little twist in your path. Um, not saying that that's a bad thing at all. It most likely isn't because if anything gets put into your path, it's put there for a reason, right? Okay, so the most substantial aspect of this eclipse is that the sun is conjunct to the moon. Okay, so this energy brings opportunities and possibilities, like I mentioned. Um, without force or expectations, just put yourself in front of that path. Um, so if it's your current path or if it's a new path, just put yourself in front of that. Put yourself in front of those plans and really look at it as if it's the road in front of you with all of the little notches of the timeline of the things that you want to hit, okay? Because the universe is opening a portal right now where fresh starts and new beginnings are favored and celebrated. So if you are stepping into something new, you are stepping into something that is like a complete direction shift for you you're being celebrated by the universe right now. So take that to heart and really give it your all with whatever it is that you're working on, okay? It's time for any action steps that the universe gives you. So you need to get really clear on how to ask the universe for signs. If you go to my website, check out the block in the ritual. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure in the ritual that I wrote down um, about asking your guides for signs. Or maybe I put it in the blog. Yes, it is in the blog. Sorry. <laughs> it's under um, the solar eclipse. So it says, um, so you want to be looking for the sign. So communicate with the universe what you want your sign to be. So for example, when I'm really looking for direction or I'm looking for an answer, um, I'll set the, that question out into the universe and I'm always asking for a butterfly. So butterfly is my sign. If I see a butterfly within a certain time frame, and you can give it a time frame too. You can let the universe know. Just be like, hey, let me know by five days if this is the way that I need to go. I want to give the universe a little bit of time to catch up with you because, you know, there's a lot of people that's going through stuff and asking for stuff. So just give the universe a little bit of time to provide that for you. But do give it a timeline. So if you are in a hurry to, to get the message and be like, hey, I need this sign right now. Let me know what it is. Um, give me the sign of butterfly. If I don't see it within X, Y, Z time, then I'm going to assume that not seeing the sign is the sign, right? So this eclipse is really going to cause an imbalance between the classic battle of want versus need. Okay. We're really going to struggle with wanting our personal freedoms back and with everything that we're going through globally, um, you know, some of those freedoms are starting to come back. They are changing a little bit, but we're really struggling with that right now because, you know, it's beautiful out. The weather is nice. We just want to be with our families again. Um, but it's the want versus need classic battle. We really need to be digging deep and finding out what it is that we want and what it is that we need so we can have a clear guideline on what our 
desires versus uh, responsibilities are. Because there are some responsibilities that you definitely cannot walk away from, but you need to learn how to incorporate it into your wants. And if your wants are just so out there, um, not something that's achievable or attainable at this time, then put that in your visualization for future, right? But just get really clear on it because this energy is just gonna really bring on that inner battle for us. So if we can get really clear on all of our desires, all of our responsibilities and kind of draw a line down the middle and just be like, okay, this is what I have to do. This is what I want to do. Take a look at the have to do. Is there really anything in there that you can eliminate that you really don't have to do, but in your own mind, you have created the responsibility. Um, just get really clear on that so that you can avoid some of that inner battle that's going to be present in this energy. And this energy is going to remain for the next, like we're probably feeling it now as of like a couple of days ago, and we're going to continue to feel it for probably up to about four to five days. I'm thinking, okay. Um, we're going to want to start doing things that maybe we cannot do due to restrictions. It may leave us feeling a little bit agitated. Um, and like this energy can really pull us towards pleasure seeking, impulsiveness and reckl recklessness. So we just need to be aware of those energies that can sometimes come out. We just really need to be patient with ourselves. Um, we're learning so much about our highest selves right now because we're more connected than we ever were before. So it's important to remain patient. And if you start to feel those feelings of like pleasure seeking, um, impulsive and reckless behaviors that are so not like you, then just take a step back and think for a minute, like what is actually happening here? And the classic questions that I always tell you to ask yourself, is it true? Is it real? Is it necessary? Right? So ask yourself that while you're, while you're having some of these behaviors or things that are out of the normal, just think like, what is this? Is it true? Is it necessary? Um, you know, like that. So take the time to really lean into the faith that the universe does ha got your back and that the universe is going to catch up to your dreams. Just give it a little bit of time to catch up to you. Um, cause ultimately it has the best best plan in place for you. So you can set out all of these desires that you want, um, in your life. You're not necessarily going to get them all or any of them. It just really depends on what the path is for you. Right. Um, but with every question and every sign that we ask for, that we seek, it's going to get us closer to our purpose. So there's no harm in it. It might take us a little while longer than others, but that's okay. There's no race. We're always in divine time. Maybe you just haven't met the person that you've, you were meant to meet to get to where you want to go. Yeah. You know, like there's so many things that can come into that. All right. So next let's talk about the summer solstice a little bit and like what kind of energy the summer solstice can bring. You know, it's all about a time of like rejoice. We're just so happy. The days are longer. The nights are shorter. Um, you know, this is a time when we're taking vacations, we're spending time with families, we're camping, getting connected to nature. Um, so there's just really a beautiful buzz about summer. Um, so to understand the energy, let's explore the deeper meaning of solstice because it's not so much like it's not just about how the axis is tilted for the earth and us being closer to the sun, being further away, you know, like it, it like that is the scientifics. But if we look at it on the spiritual slash energy level, um, so our day is considered yang slash masculine energy and night is considered yin slash feminine energy. OK, so what we're seeing here and which correlates very much with what we just talked about in the solar eclipse is that there is an imbalance, right? Because now we're having longer days and shorter nights. So the yin and yang is no longer balanced. OK, so now we're going to be having like really strong masculine energy that's going to be coming into um, coming into play here. OK, and like it can be forceful. It can really feel like a lot with this masculine energy, especially for my fellow sensitives. Okay. Because it's really pushing you to get uncomfortable. It's pushing you to get out of the box. It's going to push you to explore because you're setting yourself on this new path. Chances are things haven't been working out the way that you've been wanting to up to here. So now it's time to start looking at how you can do things differently, how you can tune in um, to your highest self differently so that you're truly following inner guidance into what it is that you need. Okay. So as I mentioned, this energy can be really difficult for sensitives um, because like sensitives, I am a sensitive as well. So I'm going to apply this to me too. Um, but like, we're usually battling like 
we always have an inner battle of self-worth almost all of the time. Like sensitives are very, very sensitive about their worth. Okay. So this masculine energy is really wanting us to speak out true desires and true needs. Okay. Significant personal clarity. This is what's going to come when we are willing to witness this masculine energy, witness how uncomfortable it's making us and still be able to forge on and keep looking for the messages. Okay. It's super exciting. Okay, so just be really patient with yourself for my sensitives, okay? My sensitive people. Be very, very patient. It can be really, really hard. I personally know that so often we just stand there and we look at this beautiful fire just burning right in front of us. It's there. It's within grasp, but we just, we hesitate so, so much. Um, let that fire in. Let that fire enter your aura. Let that fire get in your body. Spark that passion. Speak that truth. Do what it is that's going to bring you um, the happiness through desire and through change and through need, right? So for everyone, it is going to create a shift and change when in conjunction with these ener other energies that are floating around. So again, we got the solar eclipse. We have the summer solstice we have new moon and cancer and we've got mercury retrograde going on right big things are coming try to sit back and enjoy the show it's going to be a ride but the most beautiful thing about these rides is usually if you're willing to hang on and ride it all the way through witness all of the emotions witness the things that you need to look at that are maybe not so pretty about yourself there is huge growth and things on the other side so just keep holding on okay so now let's talk about the like the the energy of cancer in this new moon, okay? So this is where it's going to become pretty emotional, even for those people that aren't highly sensitive. It's going to bring some emotion for you guys too. So like while we're stepping into passion and greatness and having those inner battles of want versus need, the emotion that the new moon is bringing is ultimately healing. Okay. Ultimately, that's the desire of this energy is just to heal, just to release that anything that's remaining in you from the full moon that you weren't able to release. Now is the time to finish getting that out. Okay. So this emotional release is allowing growth by providing space within the heart space for growth, right? So new life slash passion to be born within you. Um, all of these energies are working in favor of forgiveness, release, and clarity for the future. So it might seem stressful if you allow these energies to take you over because it can be chaos. It can be, but just breathe and know that you're okay. All right. Just be patient. Sometimes the best action is no action. Just sitting back, waiting for the signs, waiting for where it is that you need to take the direction, setting those desires out into the universe and kind of waiting for the universe to reply back. Okay. So if you are finding it to be a little bit too much with the energies, just really dive into what you're thankful for. Like if you really can't get into wants and desires, you're just like, that is just too much for me right now. I cannot be digging in deep to find out certain things about myself right now. I am really not into witnessing my behaviors, witnessing any of those things right now. I just, I cannot deal because there's too much going on in the world, which is perfectly normal and perfectly fine. So just come back to gratitude. Okay, use the energy to just be really thankful for what you do have in your life. Um, be thankful for the roof, for the food, for the family, for like whatever it is. Every little thing, like be thankful for it and show it gratitude. Because especially as we do gratitude work, um, as you're willing to see things that you can be grateful for that are above and beyond materialistic, um, it just reprograms the brain to think more positively and there's no like <laughs> um what's the word that i'm looking for there's no like bad reaction to that there's no like it's it's all benefit right so just dive into gratitude work if you really can't get into anything else okay 
So choose to be happy in the now and appreciate all that you have, even if it isn't everything you want, okay? Because you are safe and you are protected in the now with what you have. And the more you are willing to practice gratitude, um, the more willing the universe is going to be to provide you um, signs, opportunities, etc. Just so, so much if you're willing to put it in. All right, so the only thing that's left here, I kind of like summarized the blog, so you're definitely going to want to go and read it more in depth if this was interesting to you. And then the last part of it is the ritual. I'm not going to get into the ritual. You guys are going to have to go and read it. Go to my website to read it if you want to check out the ritual. Um, it's just a really good journal practice with some journal prompts there for you. And then just a simple meditation. And then for the... Um, for the guided meditation, I am going to I'm probably going to do a separate live video, I think. So yeah, I will do that now. I'm going to do the guided meditation announcement video and we will catch you on that one. Have a great day.